because of the pandemic, a lot of people's head has kind of grown very big where they want conditions for employment. Like I, I had one person that was offered like, that was making 120 and was offered 180 with a 25% possible bonus. And he rejected the offer because he was required to come into the office once a week, once a week. And so a $60,000 raise, that's half your salary as a raise is quite significant to come into the office once a week. So when you kind of have an attitude of, no, I will not come into the office, I will only work remotely, or I'm entitled to this, or you owe me that, then yes, there is a shift in the job market. Uh, the other part of it is, and again, depending on how you're looking, but the other part is broken into two parts. Right now in North America, and I'm counting the United States and Canada, there's approximately 50 million people that are unemployed. There's 50 million people that are severely underemployed, meaning have a university or college degree, but work at McDonald's. And then there's about 30 million people going through some sort of education or retraining. And from the trends that I'm seeing in the next few months, there's a possibility that another 25 million people will lose their job, especially in the United States. That's a target market of, let's say, 155 million people. Indeed, which is your kind of biggest resource, quote unquote, for job finding, in my opinion, is one of the worst places to look for a job because one job posting on Indeed gets between 350 and 5,000 applicants. Most companies look at the first 100. So if you're 101 and you don't know the tricks to beat Indeed, guess what? You're out of luck. Okay. Now, because of the explosion of AI, are some of the jobs and their functionalities changing? Yes. Right. The pandemic proved that, you know, like well, big organizations have wanted to get rid of cashiers for a very long time. Pandemic proved that in implementing self-checkout works. People are doing it themselves and therefore they don't have to pay cashiers so they can cut their workforce and make a lot more money. So some of the more, we'll call it mundane jobs, you know, there is now, I think, McDonald's already has five fully autonomous McDonald's. There's not a single human, like there's one human being that works there to supervise that all the machines work, but literally the robots make your entire meal as long as you're not, you know, overly customizing it. And it's a standard, you know, I'll take a Big Mac fries and a drink kind of thing in and out. And there's four of them and it's proving to be very successful. So are you going to have part-time jobs in places like McDonald's in 10 years? Probably not. It'll be harder for students but they'll have to be more creative. They'll have to kind of show more skills in other areas. You know, so an area, for example, that is going to boom in the next 20 years is anything with the word environment in it. When Trump was in power, very quietly, the pipeline, the Dakota pipeline was being built. And the same was happening in Canada, where from the Alberta, kind of from Alberta to Ontario, they built a pipeline. And so the amount of pollution, the amount of after effects, you might not see it today, but it's coming. And so anything with the word environment is going to be massive. You know, the, the way the technology is booming, obviously anything in, in the realm of technology in terms of coding, in terms of quality control, in terms of robotics is going to be, is and is going to continue to explode for the next 20 years. So there are things that, yes, we can automate, but again, in uh, right now, there's a massive, massive shortage of um, skilled labor. And so the skilled labor is something that most people that go in high, that are in high school, you know, I'm going to be 46 years old in seven days, in a week, exactly. And when I grew up, skilled labor was like, oh, skilled labor is not. But there's skilled labors that make more, like, you can be a roofer and make more than a banker starting out quite a bit kind of thing. So, you know, electrician, plumber, a lot of people didn't consider those good careers. They're actually more in demand and pay more than your typical, I went and got a university degree, four-year degree starting in the white collar professional job. So it depends on how you look at the job market because it's a mixed bag. Thank you.